In this problem, we're told at a local ski slope, an 82 kilogram skier rides a gondola to the top of a mountain. The lift has a length of 2,950 meters and makes an angle of 13.1 degrees with the horizontal. What is the change in the gravitational potential energy of this skier? So that's basically what we're gonna be solving for. And so what you need to know is that, or what potential energy is. So potential energy we denote by U. And so the formula for it is potential energy equals MGH. And so what we're trying to do is find the change in the gravitational potential energy. So we're going to be finding the change in U. So the change in U is just going to be the final potential energy minus the initial. That gives you the change in something. So if this is the uh, formula for it, the final is just going to be MGH final. So H final would just, since these are constants, right, the mass of the person isn't going to change, G isn't going to change. So it's just, this is going to be the final, and then we minus the initial, MGH initial. So this will give us the change. And so what we're going to assume is that the person starting at the bottom of the lift, or we're, we don't, we know that, right? And so what we say is the bottom level is zero. And then the top is going to be the final height. So they go from zero to this point. So this would be their initial height. So H initial is zero. And then H final is going to be equal to something. We have to solve for that. But it's basically just going to be this distance right here. So we know it's going to be equal to this. This is what we're solving for. So H initial is going to be zero. So if we plug in zero, it doesn't matter what m and g are, this is just going to be zero. So really the change is just going to be equal to the mass, which is going to be 82 kilograms times g, which is 9.8 or 9.81 times h final. So now what we need to do is find the final height. And so we're trying to find this distance right here. And the way we're going to do that is by using trig. So notice what we have here. We have this angle and we have uh, this length right here. So if you have an angle and a length, you can solve for one of the other lengths. And the way we're going to do that is by using uh, the sine function. So we know the sine of an angle, in this case, is 13.1. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm going to call the opposite y. And y is what we're solving for, right? It's this side right here. So it's opposite, which is y, over the hypotenuse, which is 2,950. So if we multiply both sides, 2,950, we're going to be able to get y. And so this is basically going to be their height, 2,950 times the sine of 13.1. So now we know the final height, which is this right here. We can just plug it in. So 292950 times the sine of 13.1. So what you want to go, uh, go ahead and do now is just plug it in. So you want to do 82 times 9.81, and then multiply it by 2950 times the sine of 13.1. Make sure you're in degrees when you do this. And when you do it, you're going to get it equals 5. 37852.3919. So keep in mind when we measure potential energy in, it's joules. So what you can do is just round this. So it's going to be about 538000 joules. So about 538,000 joules. But you can also write it in kilojoules. So there's a thousand joules for every kilojoule. So you can just convert it by dividing by a thousand. So divide by a thousand, you'll get 538 uh, kilojoules. So you can use whatever answer you want. Just make sure you follow what your teacher wants you to do. But yeah, so these are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.